So in this integrated activity that took us many steps, we started with a black piece of paper, some different colors of paint, silver, white, and gold, and the kids just splattered it. They had a fabulous time, and it let us talk about this incredible universe covered with stars. Step two of this integrated activity was all about creating moons. So the kids were all given a silver, it was just um, tin foil circles. And we talked about how the moon is a sphere, but we see it as a circle when it's far away. And then they painted it with white and gray paint. And then they used corks in black to just create those beautiful craters that they know are a big part of what makes the moon look the way it does. Step three of this integrated activity was thinking about the phases of the moon, which they had been exploring in lots of different ways. And here they got to decide what phase they wanted to represent. So with black circles that were the same size and shape as the ones they were working with for their moon, they began to play around to see if they wanted a crescent moon, a half moon, more scientifically called a quarter moon, that's confusing, or a gibbous moon, more than half full. The final part of this integrated activity, step four, and again at each point we get to talk about what the moon is, how it moves, how it relates to the earth. For the last part, they place their moon on their beautiful star scattered background and then they did a little bit of writing and they were so excited to write about which phase of the moon they had chosen. When they're excited about what they're writing about, everything's a piece of cake.